Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners on the difference between entering a bill and entering an expense. Okay, so there's a huge difference between the two in QuickBooks Online, and so this video is going to show you uh, how to enter both of those and explain the difference between uh, both of them as well. Uh, you want to make sure you get this right because otherwise, uh, you know, you can actually double count expenses, uh, you can mess up your financial statements. You want to make sure you get those things right. So when you're, you know, looking at the financial statements, you're making the right decisions. Okay, so we'll get to that in just a second. First, if this video is helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Also, please uh, like the video, share the video, share it on social media, share it with friends, other business owners that can benefit from this. All right, now let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, we got to understand the difference between a bill and an expense in QuickBooks Online. All right, so a bill is something that you are going to pay later, you know? Everyone gets bills. It's your house and your business, whatever the case may be. You get a bill and it's something that might be due in 30 days or 10 days or 20 days, whatever it is. It is something that is not necessarily paid at this point in time. All right, now an expense is something different in QuickBooks Online. And it's easy to confuse the two because, you know, a bill is something you pay and it could be an expense but an expense is something that you pay right now. So you might go to, let's say, Office Depot or Staples or Costco, or Sam's, whatever it is. You use your debit card. Maybe it's at the gas station. That is an expense right then. Okay, so for those transactions which you're spending money right now, you are not going to enter a bill because you don't have to send that money off. You already spent it. But if you do get a bill from somebody, from a vendor, that is going to be a bill, okay? So let's walk through both of these. All right, so first of all, you, again, make that determination. Am I spending money right now or do I have to spend it later? If it's spending right now, it's, it's an expense. If you're gonna pay it later, it's an invoice. All right, so let's go over here. And you're gonna see over on the left-hand side of the screen, uh, you're gonna see this option right here, expenses. Okay, so this gets a little bit confusing because again, if you're gonna enter a bill, why would you go to expenses? All right, but we're going to click here and you're, we're going to come to this screen here. You're going to see these expense transactions. Now, this part of QuickBooks Online is going to show you all the different expenses that have come through here. OK, it could be a credit card expense, credit card credit, a bill, etc. So it's including every single transaction here. But if we want to enter a bill or enter an expense, you're going to come over here to where it says new transaction and click this. You're gonna see two options. You're gonna see bill and you're gonna see expense. Okay, so let's take bill as an example. All right, so this bill comes in the mail. Let's say it's a utility bill and we want to enter this in QuickBooks because we're gonna pay it later. We're not paying it right now. This is vitally important if you are on an accrual basis. Okay, and what I mean by that is accrual basis accounting means that it's an expense when you receive the bill. It's not an expense when you pay it, it's an expense when you receive it under a cash basis of accounting, it's an expense when you pay the bill, okay? So since we are on, we're gonna assume here we're on an accrual basis, we enter these bills. We're gonna go over here, let me close this out, and we're gonna choose the vendor and we're gonna say that, uh, let's just pick one, we'll say Cigna Healthcare, we'll say this is some health insurance, and we're gonna say our terms are net 30, the bill date, which is gonna to default to today's date. So you wanna make sure that you look at the bill and look at the bill date. Usually when you get it, it's gonna be a few, uh, a few days after the actual bill date. Okay, so we'll say uh, 08-23-2021. Okay, and the bill, the due date, since it's 30 days, is 9-22-2021. Okay. So now the bill number, we're gonna enter what that bill number is straight from the bill, all right? And then we're gonna put the category, which is essentially the expense account. And we're gonna say that this is insurance. And since we don't have a sub account of health insurance, we're just gonna put it to insurance for now, okay? You can put in a description and we're gonna put in an amount, $1,500. This is not billable to a customer. All right, this is not, you know, we're not going to assign this to a customer and we are going to, instead of save and schedule payment, we're going to save and close. Okay, so there you go. You have entered a bill to Cigna Health for the health insurance. 
Now, over here, is this going to show up an expense? You can see down here that it shows the bill as an expense transaction for $1,500. And you're going to see over here the action schedule payment. Okay, so now this is a bill. Now, let's say that we want to enter just an expense. Let's say that we went to the gas station. We're going to go here. We're going to say new transaction. We're going to click expense. And we paid, okay, we're going to say that this was, uh, we'll say Cal Telephone. Uh, payment account was checking. So this is different when, from entering a bill because this money came directly out of here. Okay, so payment account, checking, payment date 823. And we're going to say that we used, uh, let's see, payment account checking. Usually you're going to say cash. Uh, you can put an extra payment method in here, add new. You can say debit, uh, EFT, whatever you want to do. Uh, generally, I don't put in a reference number. If you want to enter some tags, you can also do this. Okay, but it's not entirely necessary. Okay, and so we want to pick the category. We're going to say fuel. Yes, I understand it's Cal Telephone, but we're going to say fuel. Uh, put in your description, put in your amount. Okay, 50 bucks. We're not billing this to a customer. Uh, we don't need to put in the customer name or billable, and we're going to hit save and close. Okay, so now let's go over here. We're going to close this, and we're going to see that there was an expense to Cal Telephone for $50. Okay, so again, in QuickBooks Online, you'll see that uh, it's going to show up that under this expense area, you can filter the transactions. You see this filter button if you want to look at them a little bit differently. But in QuickBooks Online, it's going to say, yes, this is an expense. But how you enter it, whether it's a bill or an actual expense, really is going to determine how it's entered in QuickBooks and can have some pretty serious outcomes to your financial statements, depending on how you do it. So again, the, the biggest thing to keep in mind is an expense is a transaction that you spend the money right then and you need to enter it in the books. And a bill is uh, something that you receive that you have to pay in the future, okay? And so you're gonna put that in QuickBooks and track it in QuickBooks until you pay it, all right? All right, do me a huge favor, go and hit subscribe. Wanna make sure that you get all the content that I produce here. I've got a lot of free videos, QuickBooks Online, QuickBooks Desktop. Uh, can't go wrong subscribing. Uh, be the first to be alerted when you uh, when I produce a new video. Also, like the video. I'd really appreciate that. And I'd really appreciate it if you share it with other business owners so they can learn how to use QuickBooks Online correctly as well. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.